hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if today is your first time here you are most definitely welcome and today guys i'm just going to walk you through how i made this beautiful wig that you can see right there this is a beautiful summer wig guys i braided it from beginning to the end like it was it was like an amazing experience this is actually my first braided wig like i did my best as you guys can see and yeah I'm just going to walk you through how I achieved this beautiful wig that you can see right there I lost the original video but I am still going to try as much as possible to explain how to achieve this same wig that you can see now and yeah that's all I'm going to teach you today and I hope that you learn from my tutorial okay so this cap that I'm going to use for this video I made it as well I know I believe some of you might have already seen that video if not just go down and check out that video first okay so these are the things that we're going to need for this tutorial you're going to need your extensions of course and also some pins to pin down the cap to the mannequin and also yeah guys that's the wig that I already made <laughs> okay so so the next thing that you're going to need is your uh, pin your crochet pin and for this process guys you don't need a very big pin like the normal pin that you know you need a smaller pin because the lace is uh, kind of uh, the hole on the lace is kind of tiny so you don't want to uh, tear or put a hole in your lace so you need a smaller pin for this process guys so yeah that's the two different kind of pins this big pin is not allowed and you cannot use it okay so get a smaller pin if you want to make braid on your lace frontal cap weak cap <laughs> so we're just going to start by prepping the cap and basically pinning pin it down to your mannequin so it doesn't move around when you're working on it and yeah so after doing that, you go ahead to start braiding, basically, yeah. So first of all, you make sure that the wig is properly secured to the mannequin and make sure it's not going to move at all. So the first thing that you do, guys, is to get an like extra extension, like it should be shorter than the normal extension that you want to use for your braiding okay so first you have to attack that to your beak like as i'm doing now so this first step is just like for instance you're cutting your hair your natural hair and then you attach the extension to it so since there's no hair on this cap you are just going to you know prepare uh, as that you're just going to make this look like it's a hair it's your hair and you're attaching extension to it so that's basically what that first step was for and yeah you cannot just cut your extension and just put it through your net and start braiding no except maybe you want to braid small tiny tiny braiding and you can do it like that but when it's not so tiny you cannot do it that way okay and yes so that's the way i start my braiding like i'm showing you guys right here that's the way i start my braiding and then you leave out some extensions that you're going to coil later for the tips to look like the wig i have here so yeah that's the, that's what i'm trying to explain so you continue like that until you finish at uh, the part where you want your single braids to be on okay and then you go further to do your weaving we call it Ghana weaving <laughs> it's braids but call it Ghana weaving okay so you get your small pin and then you start to you know attach uh, piece by piece to your net to your lace I mean as you can see what I'm doing just watch what I'm doing okay just create something like a false hair line and then you start braiding but this is the first step you have to do okay so that you can get that perfect braiding that you want for your hair 
okay so continue watching guys And you want to make sure that your that your um the extension that you are attaching to your lace is on a single line like a straight line some people like to use a foundation to draw the line before they start attaching the the extensions to the lace but since i already know maybe i've been braiding for a long time so i already know the lines that's why i'm not uh i didn't use anything like a marker or a concealer whatever to line it but if you're a beginner i would advise that you line it before you start attaching your extensions like this okay so that you know where and where to place your extension okay so after doing this you want to go ahead and start braiding and you cut your um attachment into sorry your extensions into small small pieces and then you start to attach it to the break to the weaving as you progress okay just watch so that you can understand what i mean just like that and if you want to achieve a very small tiny um looking braid you don't have to attach uh big extensions to your weaving okay just a little bit piece by piece like that so that the braiding will not be too fat and ugly okay except maybe you want big braids you can add enough extensions according to the way you want it to be yeah so you guys i believe by now you already know how to braid your hair it's not difficult just follow this step and yeah you are on your way to make your first wig braided wig okay So like this you just continue like this and create the kind of style that you want and make sure that you leave some lace at the front you see the distance between the braid and the lace is very huge so that after braiding the hair you can when you put it on your head you know where to cut the lace okay don't just cut the lace uh very close to where you're braiding the hair from you know and, and again if you want to create if you want to make a baby hair after the braid is done you can as well have enough space to create your baby hair and yeah as you can see my wig i had baby hair if you also want to know how to create a uh, baby hair at the front just let me know okay guys i will do that for you i will do a separate video on that one okay so guys so far what have you learned what have you learned from this tutorial so far let me know in the comment section okay so this is me just trying to explain to you guys this is how i started my uh braids my wig and so that's how i made my wig it's not difficult it's nothing that you cannot do okay so yeah after braiding is and after everything you can choose whatever uh, rollers that you want to use to call the tips you can use a straw you can use your hair rollers you can use whatever it depends on you and it depends on how big you want the coils to be okay so guys this is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed watching and please do not forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you think this video was helpful and yeah see you all in my next one bye